Okay, Jim. Time to drink. Milwaukee Brewers. Pittsburgh is going to Milwaukee to play the Brewers. We've seen this before. We previewed this not too long ago uh, because they came into town to face the Pirates. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a road trip. The Brewers and Cubs again. How are we feeling about this? What's What, what can we talk about? I mean, the Brewers are still pretty much the Brewers. They're, they're, they're who they faced before. Not a whole lot's changed. The Pirates It's crazy to me that, um, like, I think we were all pretty much in agreement that the Brewers took a step back this offseason. It was like, you know, the Brewers, they're not, they're not going to be that great. Right. Here they are in first place all by themselves. Uh, at 24 and 16, they're eight games above 500, um, you know, midway through May. So, Man, they just they just reloaded, really. Uh their their lineup, Bryce Torang is having a really good season. Uh William Contreras is really taking off uh as as a catcher. Like he's turning into one of the better catchers in uh baseball. <laughs> I mean, that if you want to yeah. trade still. Like when it happened, we were like, what the hell? And right, like you're saying now at this point, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what the A's were doing there, um, but somehow the Brewers got William Contreras out of the like the Braves got Sean Murphy and the Brewers somehow ended up with William Contreras and they didn't. I don't think they really did anything to, to, to do it. So, yeah, that that worked out for him for sure. Um, you know, Christian Yelich, he's not having his greatest season, but he's still Christian Yelich so, and he's doing really well. He just hasn't been healthy, but yeah, when he's been on the field, he's been really good. Um, Willie Adamas, good season. Reese Hoskins, who, you know, I think for some reason people were, were saying that they would rather have Rowdy to less than Reese Hoskins. And it's like, no, no, you, you definitely wouldn't. Reese Hoskins has nine home runs this year. Those top Five guys for the Brewers are really, really playing good baseball. Um, and this pitching rotation has been, you know, Fred anchored by Freddie Peralta. Uh, the, the, they, they'll miss them. They'll miss them this series, which is good. So they get Colin Ray, Joe Ross, Robert Gasser. Who, if you're going to pick three Brewers starting pitchers, those are the three you want. Still. Um, but Robert Gasser made his major league debut um, earlier. He's had you know six scoreless innings in that in that debut. Colin Ray, I don't think is anything special, but he did pitch. And he he we missed him last last week. Um, we did face Joe Ross though, right? Yeah, we faced Joe Ross, and he got two runs back on April twenty second. So. Yeah, I mean, these are the three guys you want. So it, it at least lines up nicely for the Pirates. But the problem is, though, not Jim. Completely confident in this offense. Right. Remember the A series? <laughs> remember the Rocky series? I remember the A series. Yes, I do. Yeah. You know, that's just the issue. Like, they don't need to face the best pitchers, they make the worst ones look really, really good. I, I don't know, man. It, it's so frustrating right now. Again, like I guess what you can say is Brian Reynolds is still Brian Reynolds. He's he's a good hitter, right? He's been pretty stable this year. Do you want to see better? Of course, you want to see better, but he's not the problem. Andrew McCutcheon has been having a lot of really good at bats for quite some time now, and you know I will fight this. He's this isn't Andrew McCutcheon needs to go. He's one of the better hitters on the team. It's just not falling for him. He's been super unlucky. O'Neill Cruz is, as we talked about the earlier part of the show, he's turning it on. He's looking really, really good. And, of course, Connor Joe is just – he's been that dude for us the entire year. Outside of that, though, Jim, I have nothing for you. And neither does this offense. And I just don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know when this, this sputtering is going to, to stop. But yeah, 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 I don't know. Um, I, I'm with you on Kutch too. just to kind of throw out some numbers here. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon has an expected slugging percentage of 484. 
Um, he has a barrel percentage of 17.8. Um, a barrel, if you're if you're kind of unfamiliar with it, right? Basically, <clears throat> it's when you hit the ball hard enough with a high enough launch angle that you have an over 50% shot of it being a just this is just a rough it may, may I may be off by a couple percentage points here, but it means you have an over 50% shot of it being an extra base hit, right? So he has more of those than 96% of baseball. Um, he's in the 96th percentile in barrel percentage. You go to his baseball savant page and you look at it and you're just like, this is a good hitter. Like there's not much more I would be asking Andrew McCutcheon to do at this point. Uh, he's just like like Mark says, he's been a victim of bad luck. He had two balls this this week alone at PNC Park, where if he were playing in basically any other ballpark, it's a home run. Like I think right. one was like twenty eight out of thirty, and another one was twenty nine out of thirty. Like yep, he's been hitting the ball really well. Um, he's just yeah, he's been very 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 unlucky. Um. Yeah, he has four homers on the year. If he uh, if he was playing all of his games in Milwaukee, for example, which is where we're going, he would have 11. 11. So just kind of like put things in perspective. Um, he's hitting the ball well. That's crazy, actually. It's just kind of <laughs> kind of crazy. That. Just he's getting he's getting a PNC parked to death, I think, right now. Uh, so he may actually you know, welcome a little bit of a road trip here. Milwaukee, good hitters park, Chicago, good hitters park. If he keeps hitting the ball the way he has been, he's going to see some balls go over the fence here this week. Agree. Some other numbers I want to point out. And again, this is all with the bad luck. Okay. Like he, again, we, he has had a lot of bad luck, but since, since, and I use this because it actually has changed. Ironically, since Kutch blocked me, <laughs> <laughs> so april 12th right we know all know and if you don't april 11th was that three strikeout caught looking game in the phillies series since that point in time he is batting 195 313 354 92 weighted runs created plus only striking out 24 percent of the time though walking 13 and a half the reason i say that what's most importantly important to me in that is not the slash line what's most important is the strikeout rate and the walk rate he is walking a lot he's not striking out a lot but he has a 218 baby. And again, that goes in line with what we're talking about here. He's hitting the ball very, very well. He's getting extremely unlucky. You say the 11, well, he would have what, not? Wait, did you say 11 home runs? He would Milwaukee? have 11, 11 home runs if he played all of his games in Milwaukee. Yeah. That's absolutely insane and goes again to show how good we're talking about that Kutch has been. And that's the other thing. Like, like he's not getting unlucky because of the grounders. He's getting unlucky because of the line drives to, to the outfield, which is like just crazy. Again, it's not as if he's like, again, he's hitting a lot of grounders that are just not getting through. He is crushing the baseball and they're finding gloves. Um, but here's the most important thing I want to put out. Kutch needs to be leadoff guy. Just absolutely the leadoff hitter. Stop it. He is your leadoff man. Because again, this still falls in with what he's been unlucky with in the leadoff spot this year 240 345 440 slugging good for a 121 weighted runs created plus that's during the bad luck like what if luck was falling for kutch in the leadoff spot we're talking vintage andrew mccutcheon i'm not saying like, that's what we're going to see the rest of the year but that's the numbers we'd probably be looking at right now for kutch in the leadoff spot Vintage Andrew McCutcheon. Don't talk to me ever again <laughs> right now about Kutch's wash and he needs to go. He absolutely isn't. He isn't. If you're really watching the games, he's not. I'm patiently trying to wait for this turnaround to come. Um, it's just like the baseball gods don't want it to. I don't know why. But no, he's there. Okay, coach. Thank you. No, no, no. I mean, I'm with you. Like he needs to be batting lead off. Uh, he's got a 345 on base percentage in the number one spot this season, 440 slugging 785 OPS. He's been one of the best hitters on the team out of that lead off spot. 
And, and like I said, that's with the bad luck. If if these these balls were falling, if they were going over the fence, if they were playing in any other ballpark right now, uh, he the the numbers overall look good. Um, so yeah, when you say that Andrew McCutcheon needs to be better, Andrew McCutcheon is washed. Like I'm sorry, you're just wrong. <laughs> you're you're just wrong. Yeah. People who are washed wouldn't aren't hitting baseballs this this hard. Um, people that are not. washed are probably slugging lower than Ben Revere. Like, like, uh, Rowdy Telez. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew McCutcheon, he's not washed. He's still there. He's smoking the ball right now. And you're seeing, you're seeing the actual numbers starting to uptick, uptick, uptick because of this, but they, they can continue to uptick as well. Um, but yeah, you, you look at just kind of what he's done from a pure batted ball standpoint and you can't really ask for much more there's probably maybe, maybe you could say you know i i could do away with a few of the strikeouts but he's he's putting together a pretty solid season when it comes to just straight up um hitting the baseball right it's only a matter of time before they before they start falling in and and I know it's frustrating to hear that because, you know, he's sitting here hitting 191. He's got a 637 OPS, but he should be slugging 160 more points than what he is just based off of the balls that he's put in play. Um, so so just just be patient with him. He's doing he's he's hitting the ball better than anyone on this team right now outside of maybe O'Neill Cruz. I had to see it for myself. 11 home runs in Milwaukee this is absolutely yeah. insane. Isn't it? Like Nine, I, I actually was expecting that number to say like seven or eight. And, right. and then I saw 11. I was like, that's that's kind of incredible. It is absolutely insane. I mean, nine in Cincinnati. I was thir- yeah, nine in Cincinnati, nine in LA. It's like, oh my God. He has to be in PNC. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. So, but again, though, like that kind of puts things in perspective now. If he was playing all of his games in Milwaukee, 11 home runs, what are you talking about about Kutch then? You're not talking about a guy who's washed. You're talking about, oh my God, this is prime Andrew McCutcheon. He keeps this up. He he turns into a Hall of Famer. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. So there's that. So the Brewer series, I, I just, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't have Actually, a lot of faith in the offense right now. But hey, you know what? If Kutch can go in there, hit three home runs, yeah. O'Neal Cruz, who who O'Neill Cruz is a, is a loves hitting in this ballpark. We've seen him crush the ball. Well, the problem is yesterday was have been a ground will double for O'Neill Cruz because he would have hit the roof. <laughs> O'Neill Cruz would have less home runs in Milwaukee. <laughs> That's true. We need to make sure roof is open in Milwaukee because otherwise, yeah, that homer yesterday. It probably does. I don't know. Milwaukee's got a really high roof, but like if they're playing in Tropicana Field or something, that's, sure. that's definitely a roof shot. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so uh, I guess there's that. Kutch is going to lead the way. Kutch is getting them three victories because he's going to hit seven home runs this series. 